Now, as far as setting this up, what all is involved? The thing is, is it's actually pretty easy to, to set this up. So for, first things first is, is you have to go to the Edgar, E-D-G-A-R, Edgar website. It's, it's on the SEC's website. You have to register with Edgar to be able to get like these passcodes, which you then take those passcodes and that allows you to access the SEC's filing website. And I'll be honest, the, the Edgar website as well as the SEC website, it's a pain in the ass, man. Like the government is not known for being super tech savvy. It is very much a government website and it's a pain because it's, it's old, it's antiquated. You have to print off these documents and then go and get them notarized and then upload it. And I had to do it like three or four different times because I kept like filling things out incorrectly. And it just like, ah, it was, it was annoying because they would be nitpicky and say, well, you need to change this. So I'd go and change it and get it re-notarized and upload it. And then they'd have something else to kind of complain about. So just be patient. It takes a while with the back and forth to go and get your, like your Edgar access codes. But once you have that, you take those codes and then you can go to the SEC's website and you just file a form D. It doesn't cost anything. It's completely free, but this is where it kind of gets like a little hairy. Uh, attorneys, in my opinion, are worth the money. Do I think it's worth $40,000? No, but I think it's worth some, you know, some sort of like counsel to hold your hand as you walk through it because there are some like different nuances. But the cool thing too, is you can look up other filings. So you can look up my filing. I don't know that I necessarily did it like hundred percent right, but there's like hundreds of thousands, if not millions of filings on the SEC's website. And you can just pull them up and see how they did it. So you might be able to search um, and find another uh, fund that is is registered in a similar way that, that you do it. So similar size offering, a similar number of investors, a similar thing that you're investing in, whether it's like raw land or agriculture or mineral rights or, or just general real estate. You, you know what I mean? Like it's uh, find somebody who has already filed something that is very similar to what you're planning on doing. And then you can, for the most part, just like copy paste. And it's, it's really, it's really not that difficult.